Hey everybody, it's Dr. Cushion here. I'm going to quickly show you how to navigate the Facebook Audience Insights tool. Um, you can find this by just Googling Facebook Audience Insights. Um, so where we're gonna go is I'm in the Audience Insights page already. And so I can add into any of these variables, things like country, um, city, etc. Um, if they're connected to pages that I have management over, which um, we're not going to mess with, um, and then uh, other things, you know, advanced options, etc. Uh, we're not going to play with too much of this, but you can see here that you can really break it down into educational attainment, relationship sta uh, status, job titles, uh, different market segments, you know, whether the person has children, their politics, etc., etc., etc. So for our purposes, what we're going to look at is uh, the interest category and then we're gonna break down so this is just like total Facebook users top uh, categories page likes etc so if I come and I'm going to look at Gymshark the reason why I'm going to do Gymshark is they are one of the um, Facebook creative hub examples so note here that this is actually an Instagram uh, story this example here so we're looking at Facebook data, so we can't assume that the audience demographic is exactly the same between the two. So just keep that in mind. So this is just an example. So I'm going to come to Imtrust and I'm going to start typing in Jim Shark. If you're having a hard time, I notice sometimes the Audience Insights kind of freezes and this isn't working. And you don't, for example, when I type something, let's say, for example, I type BMW, right? Nothing is coming up for this. It's just not working. So if that's not working for you, then reload the page or come here and create a new um, audience just to kind of uh, reset everything. So I have currently have Gymshark in my interest. And so now I can look at people who are interested in Gymshark. Of course, we're going to have most of these people are going to be uh, liking the brand Gymshark's page, but I can also see other events, you know, topics related to them, health and wellness, athletes, Steve Cook, these other individuals, um, bro science, etc. I can look at demographics, so I can see that most of these individuals are men, age, you know, 18 to 34. I can see most of them are, or about half of them are single, and most of them have a college education. Um, or um, and this is of course all based on self-report data I can see even where they work primarily so if I click on one of these right it's now gonna change it because we're now filtering for people with food and restaurant so of course all of these people are gonna re self report that they work in food and restaurant and then they might also have other um, you know, things that they are they're self-reporting working in, or maybe in the past they've worked in them. So if you click on one of these, it's gonna add this filter. And so I need to take it off to get back to where I wanna be. So I'm looking at everybody who is like Jim Shark. So again, I could look at the, the page likes. If I wanted to, I click on these, it's gonna take me out to that page. Um, I could see that they also like Steve Cook. And now I can start to break down by location. So for our people who like Gymshark, we're finding that most of these people, um, let me look at countries overall, a lot of people in the United Kingdom. So what you're seeing here is that 18% of people who like Gymshark live in the United Kingdom, or they report that they live in the United Kingdom. And the 2% is the average number of people who live in the United Kingdom based on all of Facebook users. So you can see that it's significantly higher number of people who like Gymshark who live in the UK than the average, than like the total population, maybe it's a better way to say it, of Facebook users. Same thing with Australia, you know, and some in Ireland, some in New Zealand. So again, if I click now onto United Kingdom, I'm now filtering for the United Kingdom. So everything I see is gonna be relevant to people who are in the United Kingdom and who like Gymshark as an interest. So again, if I want to see it all, I have to you know, turn off United Kingdom and I can see everybody again. So here we can just see some information about their frequency of their activities. So for example, I can see 
that the uh, median number of pages liked for somebody who likes Gymshark is uh, three. The median number of people, you know, individuals, celebrities, etc., is one. Um, you know, the last 30 days on average, they posted 15 comments, liked 32, uh, you know, posts, shared two posts, and clicked on 28 ads. This is sort of, again, the average person who likes Gymshark and is using Facebook. Um, we can see that um, we're getting some people who are what this is a little bit you know in my mind misleading because we're saying desktop only saying a hundred percent but then we're seeing you know iPhones and Android so something about this data isn't stacking up for me at, at real quick glance so that's kind of a quick look at how you can um, get some quick information for our class project and um, again you can filter and break down from there however you want so clicking to just women uh, at this particular age range and getting additional information of their interests so food and restaurant sales um, personal care job titles i can see that most of these women are single um, most of them have a college education i can see their page likes etc